Okay, so as you guys can probably already tell by the title, today I received my boosted board. Uh, this is the version 2. I ordered it quite a while ago and it finally arrived. So let's go ahead and check it out. <sighs> okay, that's actually a pretty heavy box. Where's my knife? Where's my knife? Okay, a little problem. Might have lost my knife. Found it. Okay. So it's actually a really exciting day today. Because I not only did I get my boosted board, I got another 4K camera. I got the Nikon 4K 360 camera. Uh, a bunch of accessories. Really good day to receive stuff. You'll have to check out my other videos for unboxing of the 4K and the 360. Uh, but definitely check those out because those will be really fun. And I'll actually use the 360 when I test this out throw it on my helmet, go for a ride, and let you guys check it out in 360. I did get the Plus version. Uh, I ordered the extended range battery too, but they haven't shipped those out yet, so they sent me mine with the standard battery, and will then ship me the extended range battery when they start production of them in early 2017. So really I'll actually have two batteries which works out better because the extended range battery you cannot take on an airplane. So at least now I'll have that for around town and then the standard battery for if I decide to take it on an airplane or anything. So it does stay on here to go ahead and keep the box for storage, travel, and shipping. I'll probably do that but I'm also probably going to buy one of the other boxes or cases that I've seen that just make it a little easier instead of carrying a cardboard box. Something with a nice strap that I can throw on my back and just go. Let me go ahead and flip this around and let's check it out. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Okay, here it is. Boosted board version 2. Oh, it's heavy. Uh, holy crap though, check out the size of those wheels. So that's my hand. They're huge. Okay, disclaimer, I've never had a longboard before. Didn't have the original boosted. Used to skateboard a long time ago. Got hurt quite a lot, so I don't do that anymore. So this ought to be interesting how this goes. Hopefully I don't kill myself. I got a helmet, make sure you do too. Um, but excited to try something out that's electric. If you watch me, you know I have a Tesla and I'm all about easier methods of transportation that use electric rather than gas or anything like that. So this boosted board should serve really well, actually. So you can lift it up with one hand, but it's pretty heavy. You can see that nice bow, though. It's all bamboo, uh, so it kind of does flex a little bit. Then let's flip it upside down. So you can see here, the bottom of the board, you have your motors right here in the back. And then right here is your battery. This is the standard battery though. Uh, the extended will be shipped to me at a later date. They do now have their own custom trucks. On the version one, they didn't have that. The wheels changed, they're actually 80 millimeter instead of, I believe it was like 78 or 70 something millimeters on the version one. So those changed overall. They definitely improved this version over the version one a lot. So that's really nice. Hopefully I don't scratch my desk. It's already been scratched several times. Um, these just say, please keep box for shipping batteries. I'd assume both of these are empty. But maybe when I get my extended battery, I can have that. And then in here, we have the remote, which is now different. Um, this right here is black button. This is a black wheel, and this is a black trigger. Before, those three things were gray. Everything else is pretty much the same as it once was. And here we have the quick start guide and all your charging equipment, a strap for the remote, and some stickers. So yeah, that's basically it. I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing charging so we can test it out. So I will catch you in a few. So while the boosted board's charging, let's go ahead and quickly talk about why I even purchased one. I don't live in a city where I can really ride it around a lot. I kind of live in the foothills and mountains. 
I don't really have a lot of free time to necessarily ride one. I don't know, did I really need it? No, but I'll tell you one thing. I love electric anything, really. And when I saw the version two and what it offered, being a little bit more waterproof, the dual motors, the extended battery, overall feel of it in general, I had to just get one. There was no questions even, I just did it. I am excited though to see exactly what it offers. I was looking at it real quick and I didn't see any of the accessory ports for the front and the back like was originally claimed. I don't know if somehow I missed that or what, but I didn't see any of those ports. So hopefully they're there and I just didn't see them when I looked at it briefly. It will be fun to kind of ride it around here where I live. Um, since I am in the foothills and mountains, I have some really steep grades. That's another reason why I opted for the Dual Plus because it does do up to 25% grade hills. And it also just looks cool. I mean, let's be honest, it can do 22 miles an hour. It's not going to beat my Tesla by any means, but it should be fun as heck to ride around. So I definitely will be doing that. Still keeping the Tesla, not getting rid of it, don't worry. Not replacing a Tesla with a boosted board. Can't really ride it to work because I work like 15 miles away, which I guess technically I could ride it there, charge it there, and then ride it home. But then that just takes time to ride it there. And I'd rather just ride it for leisure and not have to try to battle time, getting to work, getting home, any of that. So it'll be easier just to kind of ride it around town. I'll be riding it maybe Red Rocks. I don't know, let me know in the comments down below what you think. What if I do Red Rocks on the boosted board and 360 camera on my helmet? That would actually be kind of cool. So yeah, I guess that's kind of it for now. We'll just let it charge and check back on it and take it for a spin. Okay, boosted board I guess came fully charged. I had all my lights. Uh, I just wanted to plug it in for like 30 minutes and make sure it was ready to go. So let's hit the street. testing out the boosted board uh, found a parking lot where hopefully nobody is and I got my helmet safety first okay first thing first let me give David my Tesla key in case I need help turn this on okay so I'm in beginner mode so we're gonna try that out first and hope I don't kill myself whoa This thing is so much fun, holy crap. Um, it's actually got some really good give. I mean, it's bamboo, so it should hold up. Skateboard for like 10 years. I've snowboarded, I've surfed. This is by far the most fun. Never longboarded before, till now. You can go forward, reverse, and it has regenerative braking. So you click trigger to go that'll enable it and then you scroll forward or forward that for reverse or if you're going and you just let go it'll keep going and you can push it too so it doesn't have to be powered so if you did run out of power at least you still can go somewhere and you got the arrow to go forward yeah this thing definitely worth it if you're debating on buying one just do it
Yeah. It's actually really nice. It's slow. Because you just like do it just a little bit. Mm -hmm. You should totally try it. It is interesting. Okay. It's mm -hmm. a very cool feeling. Do you want to jam this on your head? Good. Yeah, Take off this one. Oh, okay. Okay, guys. David's going to try it. Let's check it out. No helmet for him. Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> Oh, look at him go, guys. Off into the sunset. Oh no, he fell off. Working on that balance. Do you know how to stop? Just scroll it back and that'll break it. Isn't it fun actually? Oh, you were smiling, don't lie. Uh, it's interesting, but yeah, it's like, it, I'm scared of all the gravel because yeah. I see like pieces of gravel and I know it's just gonna yeah. fall off. It's an 80 mil wheel though, so it can actually hold its own. Okay, I just bumped it up to intermediate. Let's uh, hope I don't kill myself. There's four levels on this. There's a beginner, intermediate, advanced and pro beginner was good as a test but now we're gonna try intermediate oh it's already got a lot more kick Kid, I would have died for this thing. This is so much better than having a regular skateboard where you have to push. Holy crap, can't believe I didn't have this when I was a kid. You kids these days are spoiled. I had to buy this for myself, so don't think I got it for free or anything. Yeah, so intermediate actually goes pretty quick. You can tell there's definitely a uh, boost when you start it up. So just be careful for that. Start on beginner. Uh, you can change it just by hitting this button three times. And then this will bounce up, so now we're on advanced. Now it's on pro, and we'll put it back on beginner. And now we're on beginner. So yeah, a lot of fun. I'm gonna keep playing around with this. If you guys have any questions about it, leave them in the comments below. And um, be sure to like, subscribe, share with friends, whatever you want. And I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, this thing is crazy fun, but this parking lot has a ton of rocks on the ground, and it doesn't always feel the greatest going over that many rocks. So try not to chew the parking lot with a ton of rocks. Why are there so many chickens? They all got out again. From who? They live like right there. <laughs> <laughs>